When I were at the priest retreat here, Archbishop Young came to me and he said, Sister, there's a prisoner. Somebody told him there's a nun in Singapore and she makes miracles. Well, if I arrange for you to phone, will you talk to him on the phone? So I talk, this, we call him John. Sister, could you make me a miracle? And I thought, it's like baking a cake. <laughs> I said to him, well, what kind of a miracle would you like? <laughs> he said, I'm going to be executed. And I made a foolish mistake and I carried drugs across the border. I'm a university student and sister, I am, I'm not a criminal and I'm desperate. And could you make a miracle? So I said to him, well, you know, John, I can't make miracles, but I can ask Jesus. And he said, who's Jesus? Forget about Jesus. Couldn't you do it yourself this time, sister? Just you. So I said to him, well, that doesn't work like that. John, I'll pray and I'll ask Jesus. So I prayed and then cut. We ended, phone closed, okay? So I went back to America and I had him in my mind. The desperation in him. I sent the Bible, I sent every holy prayer, I sent divine mercy pictures, I sent everything to a big box, to the prison. And about maybe six months later, I get a letter and he said, Dear Sister Breach, I'm the condemned prisoner and I want to let you know that I got your box and all the books and whatever. And he said, I give it to all my, my cellmates and they're now all executed. He said, I'm still here, so please, I keep praying for that miracle. Did I pray for him to get out or to free? The first thing I prayed was that he meet Jesus. On the 7th of June that year, and this is how the letter starts, Dear Sister Breach, do you remember me? I'm the condemned prisoner, but I have great news for you. I met Jesus. I, may, I got baptized. I made my first confession, my first communion, and the bishop gave me the confirmation. And Sister Breach, I'm not a bit afraid of dying. I'm going to meet Jesus. The next thing he says, a PS at the end. Sister Breach, when you die and come to heaven, I'm going to bring you to lunch. So I have a rain check in heaven for lunch from himself, and he died. Now, that's not the end of the story, he was executed. But I came back, we're on our way to Papua New Guinea, and we stopped in Singapore. And I met the Archbishop, we had lunch with the Archbishop Young. And he said to me, do you remember the young man that I confirmed in, in prison? He said, you know, after the execution, his whole family were here, they weren't Buddhist or Hindu, anything, they're nothing. They came to the chancery and they said, we don't know what our brother had, but whatever he had, we want it. He wasn't afraid. He was telling his mom, don't be crying, mom. In five days, I'm going to see Jesus. You can understand the panic. But what did Jesus do? He turned it around. He converted the whole family through that young man. He went to the Lord. Maybe if he had never been in that prison, he would have gone to hell. And all of that was one of the biggest and most beautiful miracles of my ministry.